everybody, it's Mrs. Kowalski, here to read Could You Ever Dive with Dolphins? And this is written by Sandra Markle and illustrated by Vanessa Morales. So it says, what if you could spend the day with a bottlenose dolphin? What would you eat? How would you play? Would you ever want to leave? So let's read to find out. Now, as you're reading, I want you to think of three cool facts. Three cool facts. One, two, three. Three cool facts that you learned about dolphins. Check out that. That's a real, real dolphin. What if one day when you woke up, you weren't quite yourself? What if the whole world had changed? What if you were in the ocean living with bottlenose dolphins? Could you imagine that? Bottlenose dolphins swim fast, ride currents, and surf big waves. Sometimes dolphins leap up out of the water just to look around for fish to eat, or possibly just for fun. When you live with dolphins, you will surf like a champion without even needing lessons. Fact, bottlenose dolphins can leap as high as 20 feet out of the water. Bottlenose dolphins breathe air, so when they dive, they hold their breath. When they surface, dolphins breathe in through their blowholes. A blowhole is the opening on top of a dolphin's head. As dolphins dive, the muscles around the blowhole relax and snap it shut. When you live with dolphins, you will easily hold your breath long enough to explore sunken treasures. Bottlenose dolphins can hold their breath for up to 13 minutes. I don't know, but I think humans cannot do that. So hopefully, if you wake up, and are swimming with bottlenose dolphins, you have that same blowhole like a dolphin has to snap shut because people can't hold their breath for 13 minutes. Don't try, you can't do it. Bottlenose dolphins are very social. They live in groups the way people live in neighborhoods. These groups change with ages and life stages. Nursery groups are mothers with calves. Juvenile mm -hmm. groups are youngsters with that hang out together. Pairs of adults and their male pairs of adults may spend their lives together helping each other find food and stay safe while they're seeking to become fathers. So let's read the fact. When you live with dolphins, you will always be a part of a group. Fact, in places with lots of seafood, bottlenose dolphins form super groups of one thousand or more so dolphins travel in groups bottlenose dolphins are predators that mainly dine on squid and fish sometimes when they find a lot of fish in shallow water they'll have a dinner party first the dolphins flip their tail fins called flukes that stirs up the ocean bottom and creates a wall of dirty water that traps the fish and then they tail swap fish to eat each other. Go, go, go. So there they are. That's the real dolphins doing it. And that's the cartoon ones. So when you live with dolphins, you eat seafood for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Even snacks. That's all there is. <laughs> They're in the sea, right? So fact, bottlenose dolphins only ever have to set have one set of teeth. They have 80 to 100 total. That's a lot of teeth. They have 80 to 100 teeth total, and each is cone-shaped and very sharp-tipped. Well, it has to be to kind of rip through the seafood, right? Flying fish are speedy seafood, and bottlenose dolphins use a trick to catch them. While flying fish is airborne, this predator swims upside down just below the surface. Then the dolphin snags the flying fish when it flops back into the ocean. When you live with dolphins, you sometimes eat fast food, but you'll need to be clever to catch a mouthful. So there's the dolphin swimming upside down, right? Here, wait. It's a 
picture that you would do if that was you. If you were living with the dolphins. Bottlenose dolphins don't open their mouths to make sounds. Instead, they inhale and push air back and forth between their lungs and air sacs in their head. That's how dolphins make whistles, grunts, trills, squeaks, and squawks. As a calf, a dolphin makes a unique whistle. That becomes its signature whistle. And other dolphins make that same whistle to get its attention. So if you were living with dolphins, you would create your own whistle, and that would be your name. And you'll grunt, trill, squeak, and squawk with friends. So bottlenose, the fact is that bottlenose dolphins, sorry, their whistle can be heard underwater from more than a mile away. Wow, that's pretty impressive, over a mile away. While learning to hunt, dolphin calves watch and mimic adults. One trick some youngsters learn is to chase a fish into a giant empty shell. Next, the dolphin pokes its nose into the shell, swims to the surface, and pushes the shell out of the water. Presto, the fish drops into the dolphin's mouth. Ta-da! So when you live with dolphins, you'll be on an all-you-can-catch diet. So everything you can catch is what you can eat. Bottlenose dolphins swallow fish headfirst, so any spiny fins fold flat and won't stick in their throats. Echolocation is what dolphins use to sense the ocean world. First, it blasts out clicks as many as 1,000 per second. The echoes of those sounds are picked up as vibrations by the dolphin's jawbone. These travel to its ears, so it travels from its jaw all the way to its ears, and that sends a signal to its brain. And then the dolphin senses the shape, size, and thickness of whatever bounces, and that is the echo, or the echolocation. When you live with dolphins, you will play tag even in dark ocean places and never bump into anything. Using echolocation, this is the fact. Bottlenose dolphins sense things as small as a golf ball from 200 feet away. So with all those clicks and whistles, and they can sense everything with their shapes and sizes. Playing allows the bottlenose dolphin calves to practice twisting and turning while swimming. Playing also lets your youngsters in a group to learn to work together. Someday, what dolphin calves learn by playing will be used to it as adult survival skills. So there is the dolphin, right? And all of those skills that they learn will be skills that they learn and they keep until they're adults. When you live with dolphins, you will play catch with anything you pick up, even turtles, turtles, fish, octopus, if they let you. Bottlenose dolphins flip fish out of the water with their tail flukes. This stuns the fish to make them easy to eat. Um, easy to catch, they're easy to catch. Bottlenose dolphins are predators, but they are also prey to other hunters such as sharks. So when dolphins sense an enemy, they swim fast to flee. Just then, as they practice, they sw twist and turn to be harder to chase. So there, that's the predator. And that's the dolphin, twist, 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 right? So the fact is when you live with dolphins, you will always be alert for stranger danger. Bottlenose dolphins swim as fast as 20 miles per hour. If bottlenose dolphins don't have time to escape, they find safety in numbers. Since calves are much smaller than adults, they are most at risk. So adults quickly surround youngsters and any dolphins a shark comes close to slaps their enemy hard with its fin. So that's how they uh, defend themselves. When you live with dolphins, your group will make any shark that comes close scram fast. 
Bottlenose dolphins use their thick, strong snouts to ram any attacker. So their strength in their group, strength with their number. A bottlenose dolphin swims while it sleeps. It can do that because half of its brain rests while the other half stays awake. So half and half. One part's awake, one part's asleep. About after two hours, the brain switches sides. So while resting, a dolphin still surfaces as needs to to breathe and keeps alert for danger. To stay safe, a calf always naps close to its mother. So that's kind of cool. So one part of their brain is asleep, one part's awake, and then switch. When you live with dolphins, you'll never have a bedtime. You can sleep and still check out the cool ocean, ocean creatures. Bottomless dolphins close just one eye when they're sleeping. So if you could live with dolphins, would you? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Luckily, you don't have to choose. You will always be who you are and live with the people you live. Where do bottlenose dolphins live? Well, bottlenose dolphins live in oceans all around the world, except in the Arctic and the Antarctic. They mainly live in shallow water close to the shore. Some, however, live in deeper water far from the shore. But bottlenose dolphins live only where waters are comfortably warm. So the bottlenose dolphins prefer ocean water that is between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. So if you look at this map, where the picture of the dolphin is, is where they live amongst the world. So we are over here, up here. So the dolphin here, there are dolphins that live by us pretty cool. So here are a couple more fun facts. At birth, a bottlenose dolphin calf is around four feet long and it weighs as much as 40 pounds. How does that compare to how big you were when you were born? And a bottlenose dolphin calf develops its signature whistle when it's only a month old. Bottlenose dolphins completely shed their outermost layer of skin every two hours. Hmm, that's kind of cool. That way, their bodies stay smooth to slip through the water. And bottlenose dolphins do something similar to a cough by blasting the air out of their blowhole. So those are some facts. So I think we should go back to this page here that asked you, if you could, would you live with the bottlenose dolphins and those three facts that I told you to think about use those to answer the questions okay so what three facts would help you decide yes I want to be live with the dolphins even though we know you can't but yes I would if I could or no I wouldn't if I couldn't all right have a good one thanks for listening